Oh, easy. You better go. Are you fucking kidding me? Hey, Michaela, you can get out. I got the guy I wanted anyways. He did get out. He didn't even wait. Hello everybody, welcome back to another Dead by Daily video today. I'm Mac here and today I want to talk about the Xenomorph because he's come under fire recently by the community for a variety of different reasons. But most notably, I'm here to talk about today what my opinions are about his tail. Because a lot of the times people are talking about how they feel like his tail doesn't have enough reaction time. Some people say it's too long, there's not enough of a penalty when you're using it. So I think about all of that is pretty much, I agree. If there isn't any wind up with the Xenomorph with his tail, it makes it really difficult for survivors to react to that. And honestly, as a killer, if I were to be able to master the tail as a player, it should be something that I need a surprise attack on with a tail maneuver. So I think when survivors voice their grievances that they need a bit more time to react in some sort of like visual cue, um, I, I think that that should be able to be implemented for the Xenomorph here. But more notably, I just want people to leave in the comment section down below if they can sympathize with the story. Because from my personal experience, this is kind of what I'm experiencing with the tail, which feels very inconsistent. Sometimes when I'm using the Xenomorph's tail, I have to hit very precisely to be able to hit the survivors, and other times it feels like I can kind of miss by like a good little bit on my screen, and the zoning and the hitboxes make it where that my tail connects and I get that damage. Um, I feel like that's inconsistent, I don't know if there's a way for the developers to make it a bit more consistent on my screen visually, because I feel like sometimes I get hits that I deserve, and other times I get hits that I do not deserve, which I think if that's happening on my screen, it probably might be happening on the survivor screen as well. And outside of that, I think the range for the tail gets very confusing. From my personal experience, there's times where I'm hitting the tail and damaging a survivor from a pretty good sizable di uh, distance, but then there's other times where whenever I'm using my ability, I swear, it's like I should have hit something and it does not land. I don't know if it's latency, if it's connection based all the time, or if it's just that the tail is kind of inconsistent. I don't know if there's something about this killer that I'm not necessarily aware of. Please leave in the comment section down below what your thoughts are and if you guys have shared any of these same experiences. But that being said, I got a really fun gameplay to show you guys, so let's get right into it. Finally, we get to play on the brand new map. Let's see if the Xenomorph's tail is a bit too long or if it's about right. Um, I've seen quite a bit of videos on what people are thinking about the tail, and I think personally so far... I mean, listen, I have a weird experience when it comes to the Xenomorph's tail, okay? I need, I need to talk to somebody to figure this out. When I go to use the Xenomorph's tail, sometimes it feels like I can reach pretty far distances, which is very helpful. But other times, I feel like the tail at shorter distances still isn't going to land, which makes no sense to me. And sometimes, I feel like the hitbox is fucked up, but thankfully this guy did not pay attention. What are you doing, man? You had me going. You got, you could have fucked me up. Oh my god, the stupid flamethrowers. There is nothing a little bit more obnoxious than the flamethrowers in gameplay. Boom. Ow, you didn't... Hello? Why didn't you break? Am I missing you somehow? Can somebody explain that logic to me? Somebody else was around here, so I'm not going to really lead too, too far. Got this gen you're unlock. I got my totem here I want to quickly take a look at. They finished up that gen. That's perfectly fine by me. We got our tail whip back. Maybe we can catch somebody off guard. Get a good combo in. Yep, here's one survivor at. Gotta hit them up here. Still miss. Well, that's unfortunate. This still can be confusing. I don't mean to go after the same guy. It's my, not my intention. I promise it's not my intention. Alright, so he ran back up into the spaceship. If I can find somebody else, I would be willing to change my target. But since he's like injured, he's like right here. It feels like it makes the most sense to me. I am so sorry, but that was the hardest flank you've ever experienced in Dead by Daily. You were not prepared for that. Honestly, I think I evened it. I think I evened the playing field. I think I fixed my mistake. That was good. Can we all agree on that? Please? I'm going to practice using a bit more of this. Traverse around the map. No, nothing here. Anybody else here? Yep, we're gonna go up this hole. Hello. Nice sprint burst you got there. How did that miss? That's what I'm saying. That looked like it should have landed. I could just be wrong. But it feels like that should have landed. Okay. Let's not make fuck up the mistake here. 
You are the, the the worst thing that's ever happened to me. And sometimes I don't, that must be a bug, where the flamethrower breaks without me actually slapping it. Surely that's a mistake, right? Barbecue, where's everybody at? Somebody's over there. Somebody's over there. I don't think they know where my totem is, so I'm not going to worry about it right now, but that might be a mistake for later. Okay, here we go. Let's get out of here. Should be in a quiet state. Perfect. I love that ability. Get off me, flamethrower. I love that that gives me a little bit of a warning where people are. Oh my gosh, she didn't commit to it. Actually, smart play. <coughs> Boom. Get dunked on. He's on that gen. He's gonna get off it now. I'm not too worried. Quickly find a beautiful hook. But yeah, my, my experience, like I was saying, like sometimes I feel like my tail will hit long distances, and other times I feel like my tail will only hit people at shorter distances. And that could just be me fucking up and not understanding how the the tail works. But I've played a handful of the matches with um with Xenomorph here. I just feel like I cannot figure it out. It is a problem that I have not been able to, to figure out here. Okay. Beautiful. Oh, there's another ramp here. Perfect. He's dodging in this direction here. Please don't lead me to another flamethrower. Oh, I will. I might actually cry. That was a good dodge. I would way too early. She's just running. Or is he camping? He ran. Either a good decision or a bad decision. Damn, he got distance. How'd you get that far? Bad move there. Running into a straight line into that little corridor. Now what you want to do there. Oh, this is the first time I've seen uh, the basement here. I didn't know they had the basement on this part of the map. Wait, in fact, I, there's not even a shackle on this map. This is the first... This is probably the first map with no shack? Is this true? Did somebody spot check and verify? Absolutely no way. Was somebody already here? Is someone's... Or did you just Kobe? Someone was already here. Listen, you guys didn't even give me a chance to leave, okay? I am not going to feel bad. I'm not happy about this. I'm lagging around really fucking hard. Are you serious? I just lagged across the universe. This internet is so dog shit at times. Oh, fuck. I thought I was closer than I was. Please fall through that. Nope. I'm out of it. Ooh. It's if his reaction time was just a tad bit faster, it would have been very scary for me. He isn't going he isn't crawling to the pallet. He is not crawling to the pallet. I gotta I gotta fix something here. I gotta get back to the map pressure. There's too many people alive for this late stage of the game. Perfect. The other guy's injured, so I don't really mind if he goes for the say that much. Of course, they got this gen done. My totem's still up. These guys are just sitting on the gens very well. Oh. Oh, easy. You better go. Are you fucking kidding me? I missed that, and I still got stuns. Absolutely lame. Beautiful. That's a really good uh, balance landing move there. Fuck. Now I'm actually losing now. I've already injured and I'm still gonna lose this match. I gotta abandon him. He's just gonna run me around the entire time. I gotta, I gotta protect my gens. Those ones are left. I got one there, one here. I'm gonna go over there because that one on the spaceship is fine. So they're likely on this one. Move, 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 move. They're all injured. They're starting to heal a little bit. Yep. Yeah, that's not responding fast enough. And there's fucking flamethrowers. 
I don't want to take the time to fix it. To break him. It takes me too long. Took away my tail. God damn it, man. Okay. Are you de You're not death hook, are you? They finally got my totem. That's a no-go for me. I feel like I was doing really well, but then I suddenly fucked up so hard. Get off my damn gen! Fine! I'll break you, fuck! So picky! Yeah, we know you got your sprint burst. Perfect. Beautiful play. Quick, spam it. If I didn't lag earlier, I would have had like a good um, thing rolling around here. But I had I lag so hard. My internet could be so fucking bad, it's like unbelievable. Somebody else is just here. Now, nobody hate me for this, but I kinda have to patrol here. They're trying to get these last two gens done right around this area. And I have somebody hooked. So I only have two options, which is to guard here. Or basically run away and risk everything, which is like not a smart move. But yeah, it does leave other parts of my match vulnerable to get another gen done. See, told you, one's there. Somebody else here too. Yep, somebody else is there on the gen. Nice one for the save. You guys made me do this. Just let you know. Fuck. Still not long enough. That was probably a waste of time breaking that pallet. Useless. Useless. You better look like throwing that down. I'm right here. Okay, he didn't go for that. We're gonna get that done. I gotta commit to somebody. I gotta start. I gotta start getting people out of this match. Perfect. I pre-did that too. I also think I agree with people in terms of they gotta be able to make it where it doesn't slow down your movement speed, but you gotta have like a more of a wind up for the xenomorph tail because. From what I understand, it's a little bit difficult to counter the Xenomorph when you can't actually tell when they're going to use their tail attack at times. It's very snappy, not enough for probably uh, reaction time. Um, I'm just not the greatest player when it comes to using the tail, so that's why I can make big mistakes. No scratch marks here. Everybody's death hook. Everybody's death hook. If I can get Michaela, that'd be a beautiful. Oh, there's two of them here. I'll take it. I'm a little worried because this Meg is probably the best player out of the team. And she he, she's very good at hugging this area. She's going to go for a balanced landing, isn't she? How did I miss? That should have landed. That, that should have landed. I call bullshit on that. That's literally bullshit. You don't require precise landing every other time. But now we do. Give him a little good smack. They're all death hook here, man. I'm trying to commit to somebody, but the other guy just ran to the gen. I know they did. Where are you? How are you that far of a distance away from me? And he's gonna hold W and he's going over to the flamethrower. Fuck. This is arguably part of why I hate playing the way I play sometimes. I play try to be, have everybody have fun. That didn't land, but other lands hit. Other swings land. He's just gonna hold W the whole time. He has nothing. What's gonna happen is that they're gonna get it done. And I should be able to get at least a 3k, hopefully. Yep, figured. Nowhere to go. Gun it, gun it, gun it. Hurry, dude, crow, you gotta move a little bit faster. Oh, there's someone's right here. Come on, see the more. Move quickly. Quickly! This is the slowest crawl. Why do they feel like I'm crawling? Meg, if I could kill you, I would be more than happy to end this match knowing that I got a 3k and that everybody else is basically killed. The last guy's already one shot. Oh, he gave up. He knew it. He knew it. He knew his time was done. The question is, is there a hook? If there's no hook, I'm dropping you. There is no hook, but he ain't wiggling, so I'm not worried. Hey, Michaela, you can get out. 
I got the guy I wanted anyways. He did get out. He didn't even wait. You are a death hook as well. I think that's pretty well played. I could have done it better. If I didn't lag earlier too, that would have been very nice. But I could not... I can't do anything about that. But overall, I mean, I would consider this just about a 4K. If I just had slightly different circumstances and I didn't choke. That would have been very good. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. As always, if you did, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'll talk to you guys all later. Peace out.